everyone. Welcome to the third podcast of the Irish Fighting Game community. You're here with myself, Nutrient, and I'm joined today with Cormac Doyle, who's also known as Doyle on Xbox Live. How's it going? Yeah. And I'm sure you're pretty much recovered enough to do this podcast. Though. You're doing well. I'm doing good, yeah. Thanks. And a spe- very special guest is we have all the way from Japan, right there, doing the load test, Cyrus. Cyrus Delaney legally changed his name to Cyrus. Yeah. It's a little more exciting than Paul. It is a lot more exciting than Paul. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't you, uh, don't need to, uh, I just not curse. So, if you do have a little bit of trouble hearing him, that would be the, I don't know, 8,000 miles separating us. Thereabouts. So, he may come in and out. So, we'll deal with it as we go through it. But, um, I'll talk slowly. Yeah. So, first off, we're going to start this entire podcast off by saying this will all be about Ultra Street Fighter 4, which was announced last year. Uh, has Combo Fiend at the helm, running it now, doing the balance changes, adding in the... I think he's doing a fantastic job so far, i got to say. Oh, yeah? It's, oh, yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty cool to have, like, I don't know, what a, like such a, a, a pro player, like, you know, with obvious deep understanding of the game, at least making a difference back there, you know? Just, yeah, yeah. I just think I just think it's brilliant that that's actually happened. I don't know how much like you know call he gets to say he gets in it, but even that that's happened at all, it's 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 pretty cool. The Capcom. It is. Yeah, it's definitely cool to see them opening up a bit of the company about this stuff. Yeah. So I guess so, the first thing we'll go over through it is um, since you've had first-hand information in Japan around the log test stars, what about, how about you go through the first log test you've been to and a few of them and how they've all operated over the course of the months? Yeah, okay. So, last, so I went to the first log test. Oh, sorry, you just got an echo there? What? I got an echo? Yeah. If you could just uh, start it out and uh, try it again, that'd be fun. Okay. So, will I go again? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so I went to... First Ultra Street Fighter 4 log test. I think it was about it was in November, and that was in Shinjuku in Tokyo. Hmm. And so for that first log test, that was in I can't remember the name of the arcade. It was in like the main arcade fighting game. And uh, and the setup they had there was really really sweet. It was like really smooth. Where they had about 16 Ultra Street Fighter 4 cabinets. Everyone queues up in the line and you. Pay your hundred yen and you get three games, or if you lose, you get knocked off and you're back to the queue. Mm-hmm. So you can just do whatever the hell you want. And, uh, so that was pretty good. You got they had like move list stuff for every character, change list for every character in Japanese, and everyone was kind of just sitting around in the queue talking and discussing changes and asking each other for like, you know, hey, if we get paired up against each other, can I try this against you? Sort of stuff. So it was a really cool little environment to be in. Hmm. Okay. Have you attended many of them now? So there's only been, in Japan, there's been two Street Fighter log tests. So I've been to both of them. I went to that first one and I stayed for like a full Saturday and a, a big chunk of Sunday. But I went to the second one last night in Akihabara, in Tokyo again. And I was only there for a really short time, but because it was not as well organized, I didn't get as many games. All right. Okay. So, from each log test, has there been any big changes done from the first to the second log test? Like, even though you just got a few games, was there was it apparent that changes did occur from one to the other? Like, the data was actually being used to have an I, effect. They so with the character changes, a lot of the characters only got really minor tweaks between versions between the first look test and the second look test. But they definitely took a lot of feedback on red focusing, the new mechanic they had in. Yeah, so just for anyone that's unaware, what's the story of this red focus? What's the yeah. it's whole utility about? So standard focusing in Street Fighter 4 is you hold medium punch, medium kick, and you'll absorb, you'll do like a big charging up animation where you can absorb one hit from an attack. And then you can just punch hit them in, as a counter-attack. So the red focus attack, you press light punch, medium punch, and medium kick, and it will uh, it'll do a charge-up attack, 
but it will cost you two meters, mm -hmm. and you absorb several hits of your attack. Okay. At the first location test, that was pretty much all it did. No one, they didn't have a clear explanation of exactly what Red Bull attack did. So everyone was really confused and spent two days trying to figure out what the fuck it actually did. <laughs> and uh, so it, it was kind of, it absorbed a certain amount of hits. Sometimes it absorbed two hits, sometimes it absorbed five hits. Kind of confusing, and uh, and that was kind of it. Had some other effects like it, uh, its armor effect lasted until you released level three, and had some other minor things. But this time, it and everyone didn't like it last time. Everyone thought it was a nifty idea, but it was really badly implemented. Mm. So at the second log test we went to this time, they took a lot of the feedback and they made it. A lot better this time. Okay. All right. And I could... Sorry. So I could actually see, like last time, no one was really using Red Bull's attack. They were only using it to try and figure out what it did. <laughs> but even yesterday, at the short time I was at the location test, people were actively using it in matches to uh, All right. to interrupt other combos. So it definitely seems to have been improved this time. All right then. Okay, so I guess going through it, so with Ultra Street Fighter 4, like, we'll go over the minutiae that's being thrown in. So they're thrown in four characters, all of which have appeared in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and, and then there's a fifth one being thrown in, not announced yet, but everyone speculated that it's a certain character, because Capcom's given off enough details. Oh, it looks like Kami with a claw, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? The amount of hate. Like Kami has gotten more hate this year than any character ever in Street Fighter. It's like it's like it's like vanilla Sagat hate. But like even back then, like like at least like I don't know. I think I think Sagat is a bit harder to play well than before. Except his damage was pretty outrageous in in vanilla. But like Kami has gotten so much hate. How does Capcom just think? Yes, let's make another. <laughs> But uh, I'm, I'm kind of I'm I, I don't mind like uh, I'm I'm looking forward to any new character you know. Okay. I I would have liked a fireball character to be honest a proper fireball character not a not a fucking jury or or whatever. Yeah. Like, what worries me about that new character though is that they're spending all this time doing like really intensive balance checking and play testing. Yeah, they just the kind of. They're just going to slap this in last minute. <laughs> yeah, like, they have been seeing what happened with Kokonoi in Blaze Blue recently. Like, this is, this is building up for a similar situation. Mm. Are they going to get this completely terrible, unplayable character, or is she going to be totally broken if she got no balancing? I'm hoping it's Violent Ken. That'd be godlike. <laughs> or Shinakuma. Was that like a banana Ken from Japan or something? I could be horribly getting this wrong. No, no, Violent Ken is just a joke fucking character from Yugen, I think, isn't he? I no, he's a real character in, like... Oh, my God. Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, it's yeah! Some, some version. No, hang on. One of the crossover games, you can, you can play Violent Ken. He's definitely in SNK vs. Capcom. Okay, okay. Um, but, yeah, he's so, another terrible Shoto clone. Sai, of the new characters, who do you think is uh, your who's your favorite, and who do you think is the best from what you've seen in yes. the grades? So my favorite is currently Poison. She seems to be the simplest. She's like, there's nothing really special about her. What's her? Uh, so what's her? Uh, what's like the startup on her DP? What's it like as an anti air? So if any of you have played Street Fighter Cross Tekken, she plays similar enough to that, but they did change her a lot. So uh... her her DPs. Are like, I was a, uh, I was uh, I was the highest placing uh, Irish Street Fighter X Tekken in an international tourney. So yeah, I have played that game. Nice yeah. to meet your acquaintance, then, man. <laughs> Make your acquaintance. Yeah. So, poison her. I, I lost. I lost to like some terrible player as well to get knocked out. That Fergus had ten would and Fergus had, like, <laughs> didn't get. Fergus didn't get far at all. You got beaten by the. Uh, you got beat by the bear. That's what happened to Fergus. <laughs> and and like I ran into nutrient, and like the <laughs> new, new, I thought I was like gonna guaranteed have to face Takedo because I was like, oh, Takedo just has to beat some scrub named <laughs> Carriker. 
old character was Nutrien wasn't. And then and then and then I get to play Takedo. I'm like, like Takedo Takedo is like, you know, my fucking one of my favorite, like probably my favorite uh pro fighting game player as far as, you know, you can be a fan of whatever. So I was pretty excited. And then of course Takedo dropped out out of utter fear of character. <laughs> and uh that's it. So I had to I had to play Nutrient to get into like top sixteen or whatever it was. Yeah, I think it was top sixteen. Yeah, it was. Or no, it was top, yeah, no, I don't know. Top maybe it was top 32. It was a top 16. It didn't get that many entrants, like, yeah. compared to Street Fighter. Street Fighter is crazy. Oh, sorry, here. I'm just, uh, Doom's probably looking to actually come in for the chat for a bit, so that'll be interesting. Oh, really? I was just talking to him about it, and he said that he wasn't feeling up to it. Yeah, uh, things change, I guess. I guess I'm just going to add him okay, in. Okay, sweet. Get him in here, yes. But yeah, that's what happened. He was meant to play a guy named Karakur. Takeo quit, and then he had to play me. But moving on, from, <laughs> I don't know how we segue to that. But So your favourite character uh, is Poison, and she talking, played pretty much the point. same as Strecken. Yeah, she played, but they did tweak her head. I, yep. okay. I was going to ask, like, uh, oh, here's Doom, how's it going? All right, well, Doom works on that. <laughs> uh, I heard, like, uh, uh, I heard the term, like, Poison being called a better than a replay thrown around. Well, I can't, I can't imagine why if she doesn't have a proper DP as an anti -air. So I don't really know what her DP is like. So that's why I was asking about the startup and invincibility and use of it as an anti -air. Because that's the most important thing about Ryu is his crouch medium kick and his DP. It's not her really... Is, it's kind of weird. It's got like... So the way she does her DP is she kind of like jumps onto the ground and does like a... She does a DP with her feet. And each of the... Each strength of it, it goes immediately straight up like uh, Fei Long's DP. So it's like vertical hitbox. There's no forward clearance on it. And each one, it changes the startup a lot. So she like jump down onto the ground. Um, the DP one, or the light one, she'll go straight up immediately. On the medium one, she'll kind of curl up into a ball for a few frames, then go up. And the heavy one, she stays on the ground for a good bit, then goes up. So every strength adds a really long delay onto the when she actually is active and goes vertical. Mm. So you can kind of use them to, to bait jumps. Right. They look like they're going to activate at different times. Okay. Uh, and the X one, I did it against the Hakan oh. earlier. So he did, he did like a... So for the X one, she like dive down on the ground, curl into a ball, and then after a few frames, do an uppercut straight up. Oh, so I get, did that against the Hakan, who did his ultra grab. And the ultra grab missed her while she was curled up in a ball, so it might, she might be entirely invincible while she's preparing to dive up, and then she loses invincibility. Okay, so has she assimilated well into the mechanics of a considering focus, but never in Strecken? Yeah, she's uh, she slots in like perfectly. Cause she's definitely the easiest of the character. Hello. Okay. And just following this now, we have added in a third person, well, including myself. We have Brian, doing his time in on all the other past podcasts. Are you yeah, that's us me. randomly? What's up? Yeah. Not much. How's it for him? It's grand. I, I, I heard people wanted to hear about guile changes and stuff. <laughs> they are waiting on your every word. Glad yeah. you didn't. I certainly did. I actually did, because I heard... I only heard... I only heard that you were excited. So I was, uh, I don't know, I like Guile as a character, I always have. Well, no, I, I didn't before, but I think I really, anyway, go on. Tell us what's different about Guile. All right, well. Well, maybe first... we should get to that later. We're just on new characters. Okay, new characters. We're, yeah. we're just so talking about Poison. On them. So, right, Poison, you've had a lot of experience with her. She's been the easiest to use out of them. Um, I guess going starkly to that, who's the worst build character so far? At the first look test, Hugo was unplayably bad. Yeah, I could, he was I could, I could utterly see. terrible. Was and, uh, was it like he couldn't duck high tiger shots? <laughs> they just they just they just hit him in the face, and now it just goes through his face or something. Yeah, what? They've, yeah. they've done some really heavy tweaking to him this time, and he actually he fits in. He doesn't feel like he's completely out of place like he was in the first look test. Like, uh, so I I don't know what they did to him, but visually even he looks a lot better. Visually, and, what they like decreased his overall scale or? Like, I actually think they may have, but I, I didn't have a good look, but, I, like, the first I, look test, you know, I, terrible. I'm sure we would have heard something about that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can't imagine they did the animations. Yeah. 
I had a big problem when I'm hiding the health bar, like. Yeah, I couldn't see it. It's all over the place. Yeah, I mean, I have a problem with it. It shouldn't happen. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's stupid. It's a different <clears> game when you play against it. Like, I can't see anything. That's, that's bullshit hidden tech. Yeah. Like, this you time, don't know how much definitely, health. Definitely getting better this time, but he still looked terrible. Yeah. Like, he shouldn't dwarf T-Hawk, though. What's up with that? <laughs> he dwarfs the dude. Yeah. Oh, no, Hugo is meant to be the biggest, though, isn't he? Yeah, but yeah. not that much. That's what they call it. Like, it's supposed to be like Andre the Giant. Giant. He's supposed to have gigantism. Yeah, he's Andre the Giant, not Andre Block the Helper. You know, I can't play the game <laughs> with that shit. <laughs> oh, god damn. But, I guess we can thing, do it so, like, um, he definitely had an issue this time with, with Hugo was that I was just watching from the while I was queuing up today, and every time he tried to do an ultra, it was stopped by, like, some random normal. <laughs> like, his super and ultras look terrible. Yeah, no, they look really situational. Um, I saw, no, like, it's... And, uh, which kind of oh. runs across the screen, like it doesn't cross tech. And then you've got I don't know, mate. Dive up. Know. And, uh, like, like uh, Seahawks one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to see okay. yeah, Oh, quick. Can you not hear me? Yeah, you caught in and out, but it's audible. It's pretty, it's audible it's pretty, enough. It's pretty bad, like, to be honest. <laughs> I, okay. I can't really hear you, but as long as Kieran's recording is okay, that's all right. It sounds good enough here. Okay, okay. well, that's all that matters, really. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I'll try and not talk so much then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we can clear it up. We can clear it up to the point so we can fill it in with more reliable, uh, yeah. I suppose. So, right. So to you make it... Sorry? The general list of like the four characters. Mm. Poison is the easiest. She's the simplest of all the four characters. Hugo still feels like he's the worst. Rolento seems like he's got like the most tools and some really good stuff he can use in his engine. And Elena was a broken thing last time. She was definitely the least finished of the characters. Right. And she seems like she's a lot more polished this time. Mm. And a lot faster. I'm not really sure about her entirely, but she looks better. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess I'll just get a bit of info on the stuff that we wouldn't know because we need experience with it. How has delay standing, EX Red Focus, and just Red Focus integrated into the overall game plan? Because from what has been said recently from guys with no experience is that Street Fighter has become a much drier game. Ultra is much drier than AE in comparison. So, uh, what's your experience been with that? So, uh, with delayed standing, I haven't used it much, but so I'm I'm still kind of theory fighter on this. No one was really using it too much at the low test that I saw. So, but reading like the theory fighter, that definitely seems like it could be an issue. With no, I'm an Akuma player, and I think it's a great idea. I think like autopilot vortex setups and like. Just like it'll help in a lot of matchups when you're like, there's a lot of matchups where when you're knocked down, you really feel helpless. And um, like when when I'm against again, that's Jen Stinkfinger, old man. Um, and I'm a Shoto if I'm like Ryu or whatever, and he gets a knockdown on me, it's just awful. It's just awful. He just like brain dead, easy mode setups, baits DPs, and you can't time the DP to get around them. You literally have no option left to block. But then. It's really fucking hard to block as well. I know there's 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 a lot of shitty situations like that that a lot of characters have a lot worse than Ryu as well, where this will really make a difference. Mm. Okay. Doom, but I haven't actually seen it, by the way. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. That's pure like. Well, we have your kind of concept. You have your kind of first impression of it. Just just go into how do you Doom? How do you feel about Ultra? Um, I'm 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 yet to, I'm yet to really decide because, I mean, for me personally, woohoo! Yeah, because that's how they're you know. dropping up. It looks, it's like. Oh yeah, it's it's like it, the the system mechanics all work in Guile's favor. Great, happy days. I can behave exactly the way I want. On the flip side, I do recognize the fact that, you know, people often spend thirty seconds trying to get near me. And they they need the good setups once they get on top of me because they've earned it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So part of me is saying, well, I, I like, I hope they don't nerf that side of the game too much because it looks like they've nerfed it really heavily. If you know what I mean, and and no one wants uh, the top tier characters being the characters that can run away the hardest. You know, I think. Um, um, well, yeah, I, I was thinking like obviously no one wants Abuki the way she is in in AE. No one wants no one wants Kami the way she is in AE. I think even most Kami players hate the way Kami is. Well, they won't but, have that problem now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, at the, at the same time, I don't want to see characters destroyed. Well, I want, I want to see Ibuki destroyed. But <laughs> I have plenty of characters I want to see destroyed. <laughs> and we're going to come over to that. <laughs> I, like, there's, there's, there's different varieties of stupid characters. There's, like, there's the retards and the clowns. Uh, <laughs> I can't, uh, That's... It's, it's like, kind of like hearing things like Gamer Bees dropping Adon. Oh, it's just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, well, you see, there, there's a difference between two characters that destroy Guile right there. Adon and Akuma, say. When I get beaten by an Adon, it just looks like the guy is just, he's just doing stuff. He's got no uh, plan of attack. He's got no... He's just doing stuff. When I get beaten... calls him, he, Adon is a hidden charge character. <laughs> <laughs> charge it's like it's 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 kind of true it's like you're it's like you're, you're kind of against like a barog style like or bison yeah. style like just chipping away at you with a beast attack we well, didn't yeah. even need charge for it so there's no fucking yeah and that's, he has that's... dp it's just yeah. like yeah but on the flip side when an akuma beats me i'm usually sitting there going that was really good play and i got destroyed mm. you know so so there's the two flips like uh, it's it's probably very different difficult to nerf the the brain dead ones without nerfing the the difficult to play ones. But I think I think Akuma will always be the boss. He's uh, still got millions of options. So yeah, he's getting some nice changes. Like well, like not really. Like he he's getting um his buffs are really weird. His his nerfs are kind of bad, in my opinion. Like uh, they've nerfed the invincibility on his anti air DP, which mm. by one frame only. But it's just like. You know, he already gets no damage off of it because it's a three-hitting move. Yeah, and now um, it's now it's risky too. Now it's a it's 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 not a bad nerf at all. But like, I don't know. On top of the vor the, the the vortex nerfs and stuff is are, are the the delayed wake up is actually a big nerf to Akuma. Mm -hmm. Um, red focus isn't going to be so bad for him because he can just teleport away, cancel a normal to teleport. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the opponent's wasted two bars. Yeah. What else? He, he got a close standing medium kick as one frame faster and, and uh, forces stand. That's actually really good for Akuma because if Akuma landed like, a, say Akuma lands a jump in on a character and, and does a hit confirm, but the character's crouching, Akuma has no meter. He can't really do much after he's landed a jab or two because he's out of range for his DP. And he he because they're crouching, he can't land a tatsu, so he just does fireball, or you just go for a reset. Like, but now he can uh, hit confirm into close standing medium kick, force him to stand, hit them at like kick tatsu into DP, get his damage. It's just it's just it's a nice little buff they gave him. They also gave him a ex air fireball off of regular demon flip. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be like. That's going to be interesting. That's all I can say. I don't know. So they actually figured a way to give him more stuff off Demon Flip? Off Demon Flip, yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> more stuff. Oh, all Shadows, uh, now their DP FADC forward is minus five on block. Like, yeah. that's yes. big. That that's... was a big change yeah. that we were trying to see how, how it affected the game today, but I didn't have a chance. I was on well, so I, I can tell you how it's going to affect it for me. It's going to be Flash Kick. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, not sure flash it, kick, like... I'm not sure what it's going to be on Backdash for all of them. Yeah. But but that's your option now. You'll have to backdash. Yeah, you exactly. Lot of characters. Like, You'll have to react to if you've hit them or not. Because uh, like Ryu, for example, DP FADC forward is a big frame shot for Ryu. Yeah. But that's safe now. So it's like you'll have to reaction anti air more and go for the frame shot less. I guess I don't know. We'll see how it, it goes. It might just stay as well. I yeah. think Capcom have a have a a pattern of uh, making uh, a given Ryu buff at the big buff at the last minute. Yeah, because uh. when you, I just thought about it now, like like I mean, I I play scrub level Ryu, and you know you do DP FADC. Oh look, I've hit him. Do ultra. You can't do that anymore now against most of the cast, because yeah. if it's blocked, you're gonna get owned. Yeah, no. If yeah, if you if you if you like 
the FADC forward against any character that can do damage in combo. That's like minus five is is a free hit confirm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, that's a absolutely. really easy jab punish, and then you do like jab to close fierce or whatever your ca character does. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, the probably the smartest thing to do here is since we're having it's kind of half and half with us. I can understand Clay, but you guys having a little bit of trouble with him. I'll have him lay down the rest of the foundation from his experience of what he knows, and then I guess we can carry on with it as he stays present and we all get his opinion on stuff that's quick enough, that's audible, that doesn't get lost in all of the bad connections. So, <clears throat> so we got okay, everything cool. off you about, oh, you don't use Red Focus, Delay Standing, you don't use it. Have you used anything in new? Yeah, so, in the, so I, did, I did use a bit of Red Focus. I didn't use it too much, but I did try it. The one thing that definitely, so out of the four new mechanics, I think uh, Ultra Double is definitely a big change. That especially, again, they did listen to feedback on this one. That last time, every character, if you used Ultra Double, which allows you to use both Ultra Combos, they were nerfed to 60% damage. But in the new version, some characters get... Uh, 60% damage versions, and some get 75% damage versions. Okay. And I think that's a really good change, because last time, there were some characters you would never, ever use Ultra Double with, because the damage was so terrible with it. Yeah, but if, you, now, if, you, if you tried it with Guile, like, Sonic Hurricane's 300, knocked that down to 60%. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so yeah. it was utterly pointless for them to even have that Ultra. So now that he's he's down to seventy five percent, yeah, that it at least some characters you at least think yeah, maybe I'll use it now. Mm. But that was a good example of them listening to the feedback from the previous look test. Okay. Um, Call it, Sai. Who's going to be top tier? Yeah, come on, let's go. Top five, so, go, go. Uh, top five. Oh my god. Um, Forty plus characters. Based exclusively on my two hours of watching yesterday, it's going to be Hakan, Keyhawk, Honda, and uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my because they were Jesus. they were dominating the end. today. <laughs> Justin Bieber's in the news every day, and T-Hawk has become top tier. Hakan, <laughs> <laughs> this is the apocalypse. <laughs> so they were the they were the ones that were top yesterday. It was just five guys. Sort of what the fuck? That's literally like the worst news I've heard in a long time. <laughs> Don't so worry, lads. Actually... I'm still pretty sure Gal's gonna go over all of them. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gal, 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 Gal have an easy time against now. No, yeah. Gal definitely like out of the characters that seem to have gotten the best buffs from the system alone. Rose and Gal, I think, are definitely going yes. way, yes. way so, up the ladder. There was some foreshadowing there before we went through the stream, so I'll get the last thing off you. But I just want to get one thing off Tyler. Why? What's wrong with Rose? You seem pretty. What? Oh you no! You seem pretty distressed about her. I don't. No, no. It's just that like she's got so many buffs. She's already a good character. She's got a lot of buffs. I think she's quite an easier character to use. Not obviously talking at the highest level because like you can't really name too many Rose champions besides Luffy. I don't. I don't really know of any other. And your guest. Cyrus, yeah, world champion, world champion Rose. But it's like I, I think she's a very accessible character, like already very easy to use. And now, like the benefit, the system has uh, really benefited her a lot. Like I think she's quite, yeah, yeah. quite brain dead. I think I think like any player, like a player that can use like uh, I don't know what I describe as maybe a more difficult character to use could you learn Rose really really fast and really well like an example is Cobblecog like his Rose is fucking sick I think he said to me he learned during like 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 two or three days like <laughs> I, I don't know I, I just uh, I don't I don't like the idea of a top tier Rose okay. I think her 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 her, her backdash is amazing I like her, her 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 pressure and pokes are very effective very safe and you can really be focusing on the player you're against because you could do all of her Footsie game, like kind of autopilot. Her footsies are amazing. Um, I've I've picked her and played her. I, I think she's like outrageously easy to use. Um, but like, there's other characters like that are way dumber than Rose. I don't have a problem with Rose at all. I actually quite like fight, fighting against Rose. You know. All right. Um, I yeah. Like just go over I, the last thing there with you, Cyrus. Go ahead. Just finish what you're saying there, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Yeah. Well, just generally with that, with Rose, like 
she was already decent enough character, then she got all the, the new mechanics. They favor her in this game. And then she got a ton of buffs on top of that, too. Yeah, but, it just seems like every, the stars are aligning for her. Yeah, like, I don't to. know. I, I, like, I had a wish list of things I wanted for Rose, and I would I, never have dreamed of putting what they put on them. <laughs> Like, yeah. she's got one kind of nerf in that she can be thrown out of her X drill now. But, and like, that's... her wake up options are so sick now as well. Yeah. It's like, well, why would you ever walk up throw Rose when she has the best backdash in the fucking game? Well. Yeah. So, yeah, in general, I think she's going to definitely see more Rose on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think so someone needs to turn their mic down. We're getting a bit of a. Uh... A bit of Would that be you again, um, echo. Yeah, I've got headphones in, so <laughs> I've got I don't know. Too. It stopped now. Where the echo's coming from? It stopped anyway. Oh. Okay. It might have been o OBS if you had the volume turned up on OBS or something. Hmm. <coughs> awesome. Anyway. Anyway, um, we clarify anyway. So, I guess we'll go up to the last thing, and then we'll move on to streamlined, perfect connectivity audio. I guess. Um. What's your, what are your overall impressions of Ultra in its current state size from your two log tests? How is it panning out? So, currently, at the first log test, it felt like it really wasn't finished. Like, it really felt like an alpha. And so there was a lot of broken stuff. Alina was really thrown in. And Hugo was just a terrible, terrible mess. The second beta they've done now is a much, much better version of the game. They've definitely ironed out a lot of the problems. And the new, the cross Tekken stages, because they're adding the like six stages from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. They look really, really nice. Whatever they did to them, they've changed them a lot for this. They actually look nice now somehow. Mm. And uh, like the, the the skate ramp stage, especially, that looked terrible in Cross Tekken. And uh, in the in the new whatever they did to the color palette in it this time is really much nicer and uh, they changed like all the billboards and everything have got new art and so all right. I'm I'm actually looking forward to those new stages which is kind of weird okay um, but in general the game I think everyone who was at the location test was enjoying it they like there was no one coming away except for like individual buffs and nerfs saying oh that's terrible that's bullshit whatever but everyone who played the game thought it was definitely fun. All right then. Would does it spark your interest in Street Fighter again? Because that's the whole yes. that's the whole idea. It is if people don't want it, what's the point in playing it? You know. Yeah. No. One hundred percent. I. This, this is a sufficiently big change to the game. Wait. Wait. I'm... Wait. 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 People aren't interested in Street Fighter. No. No. Like, if he makes sure people are interested in Ultra. Like, do people actually want another? Nah, no. 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 The the popularity's died down way too much. Yeah. People just need to learn the game, and then they'll love it. In like, like in Japanese arcades, the standard thing is you pay 100 yen, you get one turn on the machine. And for Street Fighter, for the last, like the last 10 months, in a, in some in a lot of arcades, it's been 100 yen for two turns on the machine, which is kind of the, a really big sign that the popularity has died for that machine. They're trying to convince people to play it again. So, Street Fighter, like especially Persona and uh, and Blaze Blue, are hugely popular now. So, I think Ultra needs to come out for Street Fighter to get the audience back in Japanese arcades. Okay, needed. Hmm. All right then. So overall, you're enjoying it. Overall, I'm very happy with it. All right. Um, is there any more? How many more log tests are there, do you know of, or are they even the same the game, The game is out in April, so there's only like two and a half months. I thought it was in April, June. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. It's out in arcades in April, then it's out okay. on consoles in June. Okay, so it comes out in April, then out on consoles in June, is it? Yeah, so I can't really see them having time for many more log tests. So I'm not sure the new character at all is yeah, going you know to what? get... They want to announce that new character quick. Yeah, like she needs to come out fucking tomorrow for the look test if they want to get some any sort of feedback on her. <laughs> we got Kami 2.0. She has a claw now. 
Looks there is another log test. Cam, what's Can. going on? Oh yeah, Cam, the secret reveal. Like last year, or or that year that was Oni and Ivory were playable. Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. Right. Um, I guess we'll move on to you two lads, who are... We're, we're going to get through this very clearly. Um, that was actually not so bad, actually, this time, so I was speaking to you pretty well, other than the uh, hiccup there 10 minutes ago, but that, was, that went through pretty well. Um... I couldn't fucking hear a thing he said. Well, I Neither could I. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it all here. I, I made out that people enjoyed Ultra. That's about it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm pretty uh, happy people are enjoying it. Well, we've come with the conclusion from Cyrus's point of view that this is necessary. The arcade is needed. The popularity is dipped. Ultra needs to come out to reinvigorate the franchise. I guess. Maybe a bit more exaggerated Definitely. than it is, but that seems to be the case from what I'm hearing in the past 20 minutes we've been here. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it, it's coming at a great time. Like, the, the scene, ha our scene has fucking tragically died down. Right. I'd like, I'd love nothing more than Ultra to just bring back the glory days where, like, everyone would come just for Street Fighter. Everyone in the building would be fucking hyped for Grand Finals. Everyone, like, that came for the day is excited to see who's actually going to win. Whereas now, people have to fucking ask who won. Like at the recent uh, at the recent road to Cam, my Kenyan was over playing Smash. No, playing Killer Instinct with Bento or something, and like Grand Finals had just finished, and like you know it was a good match. Cog Cobblecog like dropped the most I've ever seen him drop, and he was he was, he was pretty salty afterwards. And then my Kenyan just stands up and goes like. <laughs> Like no one has paid. No one's even realized like grand finals is over. I think like four of us watched it or something. And then Mike Kenyon stands up and goes, "Hey guys, who won Street Fighter?" <laughs> I think someone says, "His lad though." He's like, "Oh, no surprises there then." And it's like, and then that was it. Whereas before it was like doomed to like what was grand finals like back in the vanilla days and then super days even. Yeah, oh, it was, it was like It was like 40 of us cramped around one TV yeah. in the XGC yeah. going, getting so hyped. Like, it was the best. And uh, yeah. it's real sad that, like, it's it's died down. I blame all the fraud games. Go I on. actually... Do you know what I blame? I blame Arcade Edition. The original Arcade Edition. It was Johnny, so, the twins. So, yeah, it was so hard to be hyped about that game yeah. because so many people saw their favorite character get wrecked. Uh, it was also like when I went to the first uh, 2012 uh, my uh, our Irish tournament or whatever. My group was like was uh, Dready Cog and Ramza or something like crazy. And it was just, it was not only was it that is they all used the twins. Like yeah. my whole group was twins, and I'm just there by like old oh, Akuma. And I don't even. <laughs> it was rough. It was rough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really. I'm not like I mean it's natural for the scene to get smaller and smaller if Capcom aren't pushing something out every like um, Capcom have made a couple of missteps and I think like we should all be playing SFXT now not not Street Fighter 4 I mean SFXT was clearly their idea of what replaces Street Fighter 4 and Ultra is is them trying to get the money back for the assets and whatever I'm getting a bit scared there saying that Street Fighter Cross Tekken Oh man, Jesus, that, that I was so now? excited for that game. Yeah, but... I was so excited for that game. They yeah. fucked it up. Yeah. Like the <laughs> best thing about that game though is all the f all the all the trailers, all the animations. They're all so sick. The PS Vita episodes, they're all so sick. But then the game itself sucks a fat cock. Why <laughs> they had a gem system? <laughs> I just like. Do you know what would have been amazing if they just did Street Fighter Four plus Tekken? If they just tried to implement the Tekken characters and make them Street fighter -y, it would have been deadly. Like, the, yeah. the, the job they did with Jin, I thought was deadly. A, a, a really interesting kind of character. Yeah, his fireball game, his anti-airs, his stances, and his, his dash. Like, he was, he was a really interesting character, and there's not a lot... It wasn't really a lot like him. I think he would have fit real well into Street Fighter Four. Like, well, interestingly enough, I thought he would have... A lot of the... Kill everyone, dude. I don't know. No, a lot of the Tekken characters were really It'd be toned character. down, like, and be just like, you know, people were saying, like, Poison would wreck everyone. She's got a Jaguar kick, she's got a Fireball, a DP. But, like, she's not going to wreck everyone in Ultra. She's been tailored to suit the game. And same with Hugo, same with Relento, same with Elena. I don't even know what she does. But, like, <laughs> it's just be the same process. You just tone them down to fit to suit the game. Yeah, yeah. And 
if they had just gone that direction from the start, just gone fully just taken Street Fighter Four and added Tekken characters, like if it was just a, a like a, I don't know, like a, an official mod to the game or something, it would have been deadly. And, and it do you remember? Worked. Do you remember the last build that people had played before the very last one before they announced gems? Everyone was coming out of that going, "This game is the fucking bomb." This game is excellent. It's so much fun. Do you mean all the pro players? Yeah. No, I think they. I think they got. They got tipped off a bit, doing. They you reckon like esports money? You know what I'm oh, saying? Right. A lot of green under them shoes. <laughs> I think like uh, yeah, Mike Ross and PR Bog were quoted as calling it the best game ever for the best fighting game ever made. <laughs> I- <laughs> I was, I was so excited. I was so excited too. I believed every word of it. Yeah, like, and it was just a progressive, like, when that first trailer came out of, like, Ryu fighting in... Oh my god. No, it was Kazuya. Like, I, it was Kazuya, starts yeah, off yeah. with uh, Kazuya. Kazuya yeah, yeah. And, like, and then, like, I went through standing so many pairs of pants watching that. And, uh, and fucking, and then the hype just slowly trickled off to nothing by the time the game came out. It was like... Well, when when uh, no the Jin and Bison trailer was fucking amazing. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. When Jin's just sitting at his office watching the replays of this Ryu bullshit going down with Kazuya, and then Bison just appears and starts talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, is yeah. that was so hype. That was that was one of the best trailers ever made. I thought. Yeah, they're really good. They're really and then the good. ending, the ambiguous ending, like you don't know what's gonna happen next. Like Jin gonna oh. fuck shit. And then I, I even really liked the Akuma one. The Akuma and Ogre one I thought was pretty badass because, I don't know, they're both weird characters. Best one was definitely the, the Poison and Hugo one where they, they showed off Guy oh, and Guy. Cody yeah. at the end. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah we're not one. in this game yet. We're DLC. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> like, you absolute fast. <laughs> and uh, did you guys watch the PS Vita episodes? Oh, there? they were awesome. Yeah. Why are we talking about X Tech? And it's, Actually, it's yeah. dead. <laughs> because that's what we're talking about. It's dead. It's dead and buried. That's, that's, that's how much Capcom fucked up. Like, like that, did you hear the passion we were just talking about? That shit, shit game. Like, that's yeah. what that game could have been. That game could have been everything. That game could that's have been what, epic. But it was shy. That was my point about about five minutes ago before we went on this tangent. Is that what should have happened was that at the passion and the enjoyment that everyone had had for vanilla and for super should have transferred over to SFXT and that should have kept us going while they were developing SF5. I, I would bet any amount of money that was Capcom's big plan, but they decided to make a, a DLC X uh, disc. So it's just DLC, DLC X gems, like, and everyone just lost interest because of that. I, like, you know, this is the way businesses think. They think we spend X money this year on this game and we will get Y amount and <laughs> we'll put the money Y amount into the next generation. Like mm. So like 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 Capcom wants us to be buying fighting games. <laughs> yeah. Well it's important that we don't forget about here because that's what Ultra is gonna be now. It's gonna be what Street yeah. Across Tech and should have been. Uh um, yes. Absolutely. Mm. Well, it may not have the same trailers but it's coming from a very sound pedigree, which is A so we don't really that's need trailers, we know how the game is. It's it's excellent, according that's, to you two. That's the sadness is that it, it won't be what Cross Tekken was because Cross Tekken has all of those Tekken characters. Like, there's so many really cool designs in that Tekken cast, and we're never going to get yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Fucking Kazuya, what a boss! <laughs> I don't like the kind of approach they took with Hayachi. A bit too trolly for me, but um, he's a boss character as well. Yeah, like. Even Alisa, I fucking hate no, him. Uh, I made her cross-tech. Cross-tech, no, hang on. Alisa was a retard. <laughs> got friggin' chainsaw hand. Take that back. <laughs> no, that, like, sh- Even when she, she spins she, around, she never stopped looking she at She was the opponent. jury. She was the jury of of that game. She Good was just the big... jury and fucking executioner. <laughs> but I guess if we can we move off from Strekken anyway that's I don't want to talk about Strekken yeah. it's horrible maybe, maybe I'll try I'm getting bad memories but Endo was cool though jab jab <laughs> uh, jab 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 
What was it? It was like tree frame stone I've got seven up black. Yes. <laughs> Keep doing that. Oh, it's the best. Um So how do you two who are inexperienced with an ultra feel about it? I'm fucking hype. Yeah, uh, I'm hype. Like couldn't be more hype. Um I think like all its I think the whole direction and feel of the game is gonna be completely different. Um, I think it looks a lot more rewarding to more intelligent players, to be honest, and less like pattern-based players or less uh, kind of just, I don't know, players get into habits of just like, I don't know, when I'm here, I'll do this or this. When I'm here, I'll do this or this. When I'm here, I'll do this or this. Whereas, like, the, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, if you go into, if you play a lot of online ranked mode you know exactly what i'm talking about you have to like yeah. figure out what kind of a player you're against and sometimes you're against a special player and he's <laughs> and, and he's and, and he's scary no 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 not gandhi like like worse this is a player that puts in effort puts in time but doesn't get the game <laughs> at all like and has picked kami or adon or like even akuma or you get some you get some particular akumas i won't name any names but <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, I, anyway, yeah, I think like, it's I think I it's rewarding to good players. I really like the direction they're taking with it. Um, I think people saying it's going to be dry don't really you can't really call that. It is kind of looking that way though, because I think a lot of kind of dry characters are are looking a bit good. And I'm not sure, like like Rose for example. I think she's very dry. Uh, I think she's she's all the ben uh, all the system benefits her. All the system changes benefit her. All of her, all of her buffs. I just, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped though, because like a lot of characters, a lot of crazy characters are getting big buffs as well. Like you know, like Yang is looking really strong. You know, so how could you call the game dry if he's going to be a strong character? You know. Oni too. Oni is looking. Oni, evil, evil, you can. Yeah, can. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be using Ken a lot. I think. I, I I think the the nerfs to the system meant that they could provide a lot more individual buffs for a lot of characters. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like like these things can't be abused in the same way they could in 2012, because there's no unblockables and and it's much more difficult to do a setup and that. So they could go a little bit more crazy with the with the buffs than they could have if it was in the exact same engine. I reckon. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, individual characters, who are you looking forward to most? You're really asking me that? Everyone, I mean. Because, <laughs> like, with me, it's not Akuma. <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> his changes look shit. Like, I'm real hyped for, I'm real hyped for Dudley. I'm real hyped for Dudley. Um, Smug described him as a dream come true. And he's gonna, he's not even gonna believe that Dudley is going to stay the same way he is until he's playing the final version of Ultra. He's not going to, like, get too... In, uh, I don't know, he's not going to get his hopes too high because when he played in the... Um, he played in the log test, he said it was just beautiful. He was just, like, everything works. His, uh, you know, at the moment, Dudley's jab, like his crouch jab and stand jab, the hitbox ends at his wrist, not at the tip of his boxing glove, mm -hmm. which is outrageous. <laughs> And um, like you know, they've changed that. They fixed a lot of his hitboxes, and now a lot more of his normals combo simply because his hitboxes have been fixed. You know, mm -hmm. so um, I don't know. I think Dudley's looking really good. Like I think he'll get forward medium punch stand, or sorry, forward medium kick stand medium punch stand hard kick into you know whatever next ex machine gun blow. I think that will hit on most of the cast now. I think I remember hearing that. I'm not sure though. There's um like. Forward middle kick, uh, it hits. I, I think it's hitbox. It's been, yeah, it's his hitbox has been pushed out. Let me get the changes. Yeah, sure, you go grab that. Um, just while you find Yeah, it. here we go. Here we go. Dudley standing hard punch, hitbox extended downward. Like, that's fucking sick. That's pretty much all the 40s improved thing was. It's just every incremental thing improved for Dudley. Mm, it's a lot of changes here, a lot of small changes, but you know, that shit builds up. Yeah, so it's the way he should have been, the way it's looking, is it? Rose causes one damage. Oh, you guys are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like what they did with Sean. Like, Dan got some cool buffs. 
That oh. sounds insane as well, that Dan buff. Like, <laughs> what was it again? Meet or run away? Or... Yeah, yeah like, like super jump back, uh, taunt, and he gains how much meter? Like a quarter like, of a bar or something. Yeah. Like this. More than that, I, at, at the first Loki okay. test, there was a Dan that was cleaning up because no one could fucking touch him. Like, <laughs> you just jump back taunt, and they'd do two taunts on the that's, ground before they could catch up, and he'd have no like a full way. meter. <laughs> what? There's no way <laughs> that's going to stay. Yeah, he was nothing the first in the first look test. I'm quite hyped for Evil Ryu. I'm oh, actually real hyped for Evil Ryu. I've been playing him a, a bit lately, and um, I think he's a really sick character. I think he's quite unique out of all the shadows. Well, all the main, the real shadows like Akuma, Ken, Ryu, their crouch medium kick, the recovery on it on Quiff is 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 really important part of their game because you can DP anti air if they've jumped. Uh, so if you're crouch medium kicking in footsies and they've jumped, you know you can DP. It's it's a real big deal. But Evil Ryu can't really do that because <laughs> his crouch medium kick recovers a lot slower. So you you should be hitting them with that or making them block and canceling it to fireball. So I know I really really like his style. His 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 damage is crazy, and now he's getting like all buffs. I I I really see myself using him in, in ultra. All right. That sounds pretty Even his flat H, he got a vitality. And yeah, he, got, he got 50 more health, and that's a yeah, big that's fucking important. deal. That, that's that, really that's, important. That's one more mix-up, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not even just that. What a lot of people don't realize about low-health characters is, um, you know the way uh, when, you, when you're on low health, you take less damage from moves? Like, yeah. that's, that's, that's a big scaling, but when, when you start off with less health, that, uh, that damage reduction you get is actually smaller because it's a percentage of your total life, and because oh, your total life is smaller... Okay. There's that as well. So like like Akuma and Seth having such low health, they do actually have lower health, but they also get less of a um, damn. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Scaling. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. get yeah. less the health scaling. Why so like tiny fifty or hundred percent health is, or so, points actually that much more. Yeah. So so vitality life increase of fifty. It doesn't mean you're going to be able to survive one more crouch medium punch. It actually means you're going to survive a bit more than that, like a little mm -hmm. bit more than that, and uh, that, that that all adds up, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, then like his his crouching middle kick actually got buffed. There's more guard, more stone on guard, uh, one more frame. But like it's already pretty much a block string from all ranges, and it, it's such a godlike, it's such a godlike two and one combo. It, 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 I can't say it's like it's like the biggest part of his game is landing that crouch medium kick Hadouken, and then you FADC into a full combo because his forward dash dash is really far for a shoutout. Like it's really good. So you get that full combo of the crouch medium kick at Hadouk and FADC. It's it's a really big part of the, his game, and then they've buffed it. Now his his crouching hard kick is one frame faster as well, from seven frames to six frames. That you know, I don't buff. know. That is a big buff because you can a lot already of things that can punish now that that it wouldn't have been able to before. Exactly, and he can he can already tatsu to sweep a lot of characters in the game. Mm -hmm. It's quite tight, but I mean. Um, it's quite the timing is so similar to Akuma. I, I find it easy enough, but um, I don't know. I don't un understand this change. Like Tatsumaki floats the opponent lower on hit. I think that might be to avoid Tatsu to sweep, because it seems like they if they float the opponent lower on hit, it means they'll hit the ground sooner. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe you have to just do Tatsu to DP or Tatsu to like jab reset or whatever, which is still fine. Evo Ryu's got some sick, sick resets and sick damage up his DP. Mm -hmm. All right, so moving from that, you are not playing a Vortex character anymore. You're <laughs> thinking about either Dudley or Evo Ryu. Then you're interested. Oh in no, I think I'll always play Akuma, Ryu, and Ken. I'm just, uh, I'm just happy now that these two are getting are getting their their due buffs, and I'll, I'll be using them as well. You know. I, I see myself using a lot, a lot of characters. I, I don't know if I could say that. What were the new characters? Did they interest you? Though? Until I actually hands on the game. Poison does because she looks like a shadow. Uh, the rest don't. Like, uh, yeah, I know. I just so, hope she could. I hope on, she gets. I hope she gets uh, something more suitable to wear because. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. So you're saying you would, if she was yeah. applicable to how you play, you'd play her. Yeah. No. But, why wouldn't I? Would Really? Why wouldn't I? I don't really even mind her style. Like she's just a big slut or whatever. That's cool. <laughs> well, no, it's well. What ever happened to you saying, "Oh, don't be playing these girly girl characters"? Oh no, no, no. Game what I don't like. I'm, I'm still waiting for you to play Skullgirls. 
Now, now, <laughs> if you're gonna pay poison, you've got nothing. You, you, no, you gotta no, pick no, that game no, up. No, 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 no. <laughs> but like, what I don't like is the the weird schoolgirl shit. The kind of the whole question mark. You think like Sakura's underpants always happen to pop out? <laughs> like Cami walking around naked as an assassin. She's an assassin. She's an assassin. She's just walking around basically ah, nude. Assassin. And the like empowered <laughs> woman. But like they 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 don't even they don't even reference it. They don't even like pay attention to it. It's like that's business as usual as well. Like I'm sorry, but if anyone walked around the streets like that, she's gonna get a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's how it is. So it, I don't know. Poison's just poison. Just dresses slutty, whatever. Okay. That's cool. You know, like at least it's not fucking being like, oh, you know, I'm just an assassin. <laughs> I'm not a slapper. Poison just walks around. She's like, yeah, but it's what you see is what you get. I don't really. That doesn't really bother me. It's more the sakuras. The uh, I, I hate nope. a pinky. Poison cold. I, I, what you see. I hate not exactly yeah. what you get. I hate what they say during the. Uh, I'm not gonna get into. Yeah. Don't like yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what poison looks like to me? You know, in '80s films, teenager, teenage '80s films, there's always a bad gang. She's the girlfriend of the leader of the gang. That's exactly what Poison looks like in every 80s kind of yeah, teenage absolutely. action film. Which, which she's from the 80s, so it makes sense. Like, but, but that's what she looks like to me. That's, that's what she's emulating, I think. By the way, she's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. All right. I guess we'll just go around uh, all of us, I suppose, and then we we we'll wrap up clean enough. Uh, before also, we... just a random thing yeah, yeah. before we go. She told yeah. about more characters. That uh, her her ultra one, where she she throws a fireball, and if it hits you anywhere on screen, it leads to a, like a full animation. And uh, that thing is crazy fast in the current build. Yeah. Like it's so fast, it's basically invisible when she fires it. Invisible. <laughs> Like, uh, you mean, like, do you I mean it's like uh, the speed of Seth's Ultra One? Yeah, like it just it hits full screen immediately when she fires it. And uh, so people were blocking it, but like I did it against the Khan when he did his X Oil. So he recovers really quick on X Oil. And he, he did block it, but there was no transition between her firing the fireball and it impacting him. It was just like immediately oh. across the screen. Hmm. So uh, that, that, it was pretty slow in the last build. So that was a pretty big change to give that ultra. Alright. So, oh yeah, sorry, just as a stand, so, as just as Doyler pointed out about his interest in characters, so the new cast interests you specifically at the moment? The new cast, I really like Poison, and Alina seems like she could be fun. She's, but I don't know if I can play her. She's not really my style of character. She's like, kind of Makoto y. She's not really my style of character either. She looks like a complete retard. <laughs> <laughs> Got a healing super. Like, yeah. She looks like, yeah. Yeah. Apparently, she's got a lot of safe offense, a lot of high low mix ups, a lot of things that will just annoy the hell out of you. But yeah, her whole game seems to be knocking you to the other side and approaching. I remember, I remember trying to give a uh, Street Fighter X tech and like another chance because you know I got real, I kind of got into it and took it serious and kept like expecting it to just get better and it didn't. And I got back into it after they did a big update or whatever. And I played like some sets with Fergus, and he went Elisa and Elena, and I just, I just lost all faith in the game. <laughs> it was just such, it was just such shite. Uh, and like he was even like laughing at it and trying to explain it to me as well. We had a, like an epic three-man Street Fighter X Tekken scene: me, Fergus, and the witch. And like the two of them, the two of them only use girl characters. And like the girl characters are all really fucking weird and annoying. They used the whole, they used all the Tekken girls, like, and then Poison, and they used the Street Fighter girls as well. But like, the, oh, what a fucking shit game! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, at least you're a firm believer to the end, anyway. Wow. Well, yeah, at least you came back and tried again. Yeah, I went down swinging. I went down swinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems that way. Uh, Doom. I, is there really yeah. a point in asking? Well. It's not just. I mean, obviously, obviously, I want to play himself, and uh, I think he's gotten. I think he's gotten a lot of buffs that will make him fun to play if you're already a guile player. I think they did that on purpose, like, like giving him his air throw back. And apparently, it's not the way it was in Super, but it's enough that a lot of the gimmicks he used to do in Super will now work again. 
things like throwing Honda out of his headbutt or Blanca out of his balls will now work again. And you can throw Blanca not... by the balls. Yeah. <laughs> That's savage. That's savage. Like, cause, like... I've, I've made a video of it. Have you not seen me doing it? Yeah, I think I have. I'm sure I've yeah. seen it. <laughs> like, um, you can also throw Blanca out of his backdash, which is always great crack. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, like, they, the crouching light punch buff is godlike. Because okay, I'm that, up. he's plus five on hit with crouching light punch. Yeah, right. And so that means he now has a two frame uh, link into a good knockdown into medium punch flash kick, right? Guile, you always have had to work so hard to get any form of damage with, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, that makes it just that little bit safer and that little bit easier to go for the flash kick instead of the sonic boom. So, so that's good. Um, I like they've. That. Yeah, they've increased the range on his crouch and medium kick. I kind of agree with that, because if you've ever seen God's crouch and medium kick in, in a Street Fighter 2 game... <laughs> yeah, it's a godlike god -like normal. Yeah, it's supposed to be a godlike normal. Um, reverse spin kick should have always had this. Um, hitbox extended downwards to hit crouching opponents. Like, you, you're taking a massive fucking risk going in on Wake Up With Guile anyway. You deserve, if, if you get them with the meaty upside down it's kick... It's a godlike move. Yeah, it's a great move, so that'll be good. It's Flash just like, uh, it's very similar to Evo Reuse. I think Evo Reuse forward medium kick got buffed as well. Yeah, and, yeah, it um, did. I've, I, I've been using Evo Reuse lately, and it, I guess I really fucking love that normal. I'd love if Akuma had that. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, invincibility increased with one frame on all of his flash kicks. That's so needed. Like, you can knock him out of his flash kick with any air normal. But the yeah, flip side being, the flip side being, I'm actually pretty sure this is supposed to be a nerf, because it's going to be really easy to trade into Ultra One now, because it starts up in five frames. You can already do it if you hit people right at the top of the of the flash kick, if you get me. Okay. But they've reduced the startup of Ultra One to five frames, so I'm pretty sure if they didn't do that, to stop a lot of the trades, you'd be like Sagat. Oh, look, flash kick, trade, ultra one. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's why they did it. So it's a hidden hidden nerf, actually. I don't know. You'd need to uh, see it. See I know, it yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know, theory fighting. Yeah, theory. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, five frame ultra, yeah, I'll take that. Sonic Hurricane has increased damage. Oh, that's take cool. That. that is a uh, ultra one tracks which side the opponent is in startup. Yeah. That's... Um, the Guile players on, on SRK were just crying out for something to stop the the constant brain dead cross ups. You know your way you're talking about brain dead offense. Yeah. If if you're playing Guile, there's just nothing you can do about pressure off a cross up. Yeah. Literally like... nothing. So and I think this is a good happy medium because what they wanted was for flash kick to track and that's just too good. Because it's already. Yeah, I think uh, that would have been ridiculous, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'd agree too. Like, he yeah, would honestly, been, would agree. Would like an invincible heal, you couldn't cross him up if you do that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, um, so f flash explosion is great now. Oh, it's Sounds lost. Awesome. Uh, lost four frames of invincibility though. Yeah. It's not bad. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine there. Yeah, it's it's also lost two frames of startup, so it's only really losing. Yeah. Two, you know. Okay. Um, it should still like. I assume that's so it's not beating every single move in the game. Because you'd, you'd have five frames more invincibility than you'd have startup on it. Uh -huh. So that would be pretty strong. But actually, the character I'm interested in a lot is, uh, is Chun-Li. Yes, I think she looks kind of like the Queen yeah, is I, back. Yeah, like I've always, like in back in the day, especially in the Alpha games, I loved playing Chun-Li. So yeah. uh, um, she's getting just just everything is good that she's getting. I think I'd really I might really like playing with her, and I just love Chun's Ultra One anyway. I love punishing people with and normals on the far end of the screen with it. Just just love everything about her. So I might go with, with her for a good bit, you know. Oh, she got the yeah. pieces in as well. That's really a big thing. Yeah, she got um. What did she get? Yeah. What what's the rear spin kick? Is that the one the the cross up overhead that she does? 
I, I think so. I think so. It's the Dan Ford hard yeah. kick, is it? Dan Ford hard kick, yeah. Uh, where they um, have her? I'm, I'm guessing. Her. I don't know. Like, the... Yoso Kiaku head. Yeah. Yeah. It stops. Okay. <laughs> right. I don't see that change where they gave her the anti air. Where is that? Did she have like a special command normal? It's not mentioned there. They increased the hitbox on her down forward light kick, which combos into her Kokosho really easily, but they've also buffed the damage on that. So maybe they're taking away that uh, down forward light kick buff again. Well, not because she needs it. It's it's not just that she needs it. It just leads to Chun Li's having to do stupider things like um, trying to anti air with jump jump hard punch. You know, yeah. like they yeah. see the other guy jump, and that's that's what they have to do now. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I I like to I like less of that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> from all these changes, it looks like all the characters are being turned into winners for the majority anyway. That's what I, I really think... like about this. Is like everyone got cool stuff. Like everyone is happy about this. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not happy with fucking Akuma. <laughs> no, <you're never> happy. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think people are gonna be happy fighting DJ. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I just, I, I looked at it, I, I glanced at it, and it was just like a lot of fucking buffs. I couldn't yeah. even read it. I, think... I don't think the buffs are gonna, they're not gonna make him a good character, but they're sure as hell gonna make him an annoying one. Mm. Like, like he, I mean, he's, he's not... already just an annoying character. Like, yeah. he's not a good he's character. Not... He's just, he's not getting anything that's gonna change his crappy wake up. Like, still the same situation. You open up with a crouching light kick or a crouching medium punch, he can't do anything about it. But they've given him loads of other shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He sounds horrific, but, though. Dead Eye David. Yeah. I mean, like, you can just... There was a specific matchup. He's like, Kyle, better DJ. I can flash kick everything. I can't do anything yeah. as a DJ. That's player. gone now. He, like, that's Kyle gone. can't... Yeah. Kyle can't flash kick him anymore. Yeah, well, that's... That was yeah, he's so... Yeah, the only thing you can do... Like, if you have a three-frame move, you might catch light kicks over. <laughs> Maybe. Like... Just to hear them and, talk about that matchup, like how ingrained in stone it was. I was like, what's your chance of winning? Oh, I can't. No, no, I won't. Oh, Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't win. Like, nah, that's bullshit. There's, there's no matchups like that in Street Fighter. Ah, yeah, of course. There's no 9-1, no. but... T-Hawk -T Blanca, that's it. Yeah. I mean, even even in, in Guile DJ, like, if <laughs> Guile throws an EX Sonic Boom, you can still sell back through it. If you do a knee shot, you can get Guile to whiff an, an anti-air incorrectly, because the knee shot makes you drop, you know? So it's not like there's nothing you can do. It's a very uphill struggle. But, you know, there's things you can do. Like, I, I noticed with DJs, for example, that none of them ever... I do this all the time at full screen. You throw a max out and then you slide if you want to get in, if you're a full screen. You'll move forward. You're completely safe. You're putting a hitbox out. If they jump over the sonic boom, you'll catch them with the slide and then you can up kicks. If they dash forward through the through the the max out, you'll either hit them with the sweep, or if you're holding down back, you're going to be able to do a sobat and hit them anyway, if you do it early. So, like, it's not like there's nothing DJ can do to move in, he can. Okay, so he's got the yeah, he's got some, sort of chance. He's got chance. Yeah, 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 he's got some, and he, yeah. like, his, his machine gun upper looks like a godlike move now. That, that'll be fun to play okay. with. Okay. Um, who are you most fucking afraid of? Sim. Makoto. Hands down. Sorry? Um, Makoto seems like a pretty good bet. She's, I think, yeah, I yeah. probably put her on actually, one no, of my. That's what's one of, that's one of the things we're going to cover up, actually. That character. Just we want to cover that character, and then we'll close this up immediately. What's the story with that character? Um, so I haven't actually seen her new buffs. Hang on. Okay, let's, well, just, even... let's just take a look here. I actually haven't even read these these ones, but I just remember hearing before that she. Yeah, this, this was a lot of people were talking at the first look test that she was a monster. She's just like she does. Like her main, like crouching heavy kick alone, it's stunned with double from 100 to 200. So she's just, like, she's got big things like that. Yeah, from the sound of it, it seemed like she's getting a lot of unnecessary things added to her. Like, I have noticed her uh, So, so her cross up. So she has an easier cross up. Her jumping middle kick got a bigger hitbox. Her fucking throw range has got changed, so her forward throw is a little bit more range than her back throw, which is cool because she doesn't get as much off the forward throw. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. That's the headbutt thing, is it? Yeah, the, that's yeah. the forward throw. <laughs> Fuck that! Like when you get back thrown by Makoto, yeah, you're and in she trouble. Starts, yeah. She starts fucking spazzing around like she do dash <laughs> and jab, and you're just like, oh fuck, what's coming? Uh, I I just hate how um, I just hate 
her her character. I think she's a really dumb character in Street Fighter Four. Changes. I can't I can't remember what her changes in the last build were, but these don't seem too good looking at them now. What's I don't know. A, a big yeah. thing she has now is that the ultra double is really good for her. Oh yeah, yes. the like escapes the corner, doesn't it? It's a free escape, and then like. I think it's a punish. Even can even punish Guile. I think I think it's that quick. It's so yeah. It's and, very and now it's fully projectile invincible. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's probably what kept Guile uh, alive. Is if he did a light punch boom, she just yeah. fucking Hate fly it. into like, it. Yeah. Oh no, fuck Makoto. Let's not talk about her. Talk about Ken, the Karate Kid, uh, making well, a comeback. I wish we could, but we're coming up on time. We're coming up on time. One quick thing I'll mention is that at the last location test, it might have changed by now. But Ono, when I was talking to him, he said Jury was the best character in the game. Ah, he used to say, fuck, fuck off. Yeah, here, fuck Jury. <laughs> so, <laughs> He's never take that with whatever. That was that was from the, the mouth of Ono. That I'll take that with a bag of salt, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will be having plenty of bags of salt if Jury is the best character. In, in, in <laughs> I don't series. think I'd play. Like, that's just <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the whole game. Oh, uh, worked on this for a year. Jury, good. Fuck that. Not playing that. Back to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Part yeah. of the skirts. Let's go. Anyway, guys, <laughs> it's been a pleasure discussing it's been a bit of old. A great twenty-minute podcast. Yeah. yeah, lads, I think yeah. we did a pretty scaldy job of this. Uh, it's <laughs> grand. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's been excellent since I showed up. Absolutely, yeah, it's been absolutely <laughs> excellent. It's been kept alive from all the guile tech. I've heard that I could occasionally be heard by other people. Yeah, but on my end, you're coming through quite clear, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Cyrus, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? <laughs> it's coming through perfectly here. That's all that matters. Yeah, it actually is all that matters because if you can hear it, then it will be heard in the recording. Yeah, should be super. I hope. Um, the Ultra. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, super Ultra. All right, get off my fucking podcast, Cyrus. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Cyrus, thank you very much for joining us. Um, have a good day, I suppose. I am going to have a good sleep. What I'm gonna <laughs> do. Uh, Doyle or Doom, thank you very much for joining. No yeah, problem, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you in the tournament tomorrow, I suppose. So get plenty uh, yeah, of sleep and practice for that. I gotta oh, go, uh, gotta go finish some essays and then I'll be, be all over that. <laughs> what time, what, what time you guys, what time should, should we show up tomorrow, guys? Oh, I have no idea. I usually show up an hour early, so. Yeah, what's that? When's that? Like 11. 